Imagine a mysterious traveler from the depths of space, a wanderer that does not belong to our sun's family. It has journeyed for countless millions of years through the cold, dark void, carrying secrets from a star system we have never seen. Now, for a brief moment in cosmic time, it has entered our neighborhood, and soon it will vanish forever. This is no work of fiction. This is 3i slash Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor to our solar system. Unlike the comets we know, which are born here and loop endlessly around the sun, this one is just passing through. It is a messenger from another world, and it is unlike anything we've ever studied before. Powerful observatories like Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope have already revealed that it is rich in carbon dioxide and strangely active far beyond Jupiter's orbit, behaving in ways no local comet does. Now, scientists are imagining a daring mission, a spacecraft designed to chase such cosmic wanderers and study them up close. This is the story of what we know about 3i Atlas, why it is so unusual, and how humanity might one day prepare to meet these alien visitors face to face. The discovery happened on July 1, 2025, when the Atlas Sky Survey in Chile detected a faint moving object against the starry background. At first, it was just a dim point of light, but its motion was unmistakable. Careful analysis revealed something extraordinary. The object was following a hyperbolic path, meaning it had come from interstellar space and would never return. This instantly placed it in a very exclusive category, alongside Oumuamua, discovered in 2017, and Borisov, found in 2019. Only three times in recorded history have we confirmed such visitors from beyond our solar system. Within weeks, astronomers scrambled to learn as much as possible. On July 21st, the Hubble Space Telescope captured images of the comet, estimating its solid core, or nucleus, to be between 2.8 and 5 kilometers across. But the real surprise came when researchers dug into older data from NASA's test mission. They found that 3i Atlas had already been active in May 2025, when it was more than six astronomical units from the Sun, far beyond Jupiter's orbit. Normally, comets remain frozen and inactive until they get much closer to the Sun, where heat can vaporize their ices. This early activity was a puzzle. The mystery deepened when NASA's SPIREX mission measured the gases in its coma, the glowing clouds surrounding the nucleus. The results were astonishing. The coma was dominated by carbon dioxide, with a CO2 to water ratio of about 8 to 1, one of the highest ever recorded in any comet. The James Webb Space Telescope confirmed these findings, while the Gemini South Telescope and others tracked the growth of its tail as it moved inward. The comet's path will bring it to its closest point to the Sun, called Perihelion, on October 29, 2025, at a distance of about 1.36 astronomical units, between the orbits of Earth and Mars. Before that, it will pass near Mars in early October, then come within 1.8 astronomical units of Earth in December, and finally sweep past Jupiter in March 2026 before disappearing into interstellar space forever. Because its visit is so brief, astronomers around the world are coordinating an unprecedented observation campaign, using every telescope they can. Events like this are rare, but they also remind us that many such objects probably pass through our solar system every year without being noticed. Each one is a fleeting scientific opportunity, a chance to study material from another star system without leaving home. Interstellar comets are precious because they are time capsules from other planetary systems. Our own comets preserve material from the early days of the solar system, but these visitors formed elsewhere, under entirely different conditions. Studying them allows scientists to compare how planets and small bodies form across the galaxy. 3i Atlas stands out because of its chemistry. Instead of a water-rich coma like most comets here, its atmosphere is dominated by carbon dioxide. This explains why it became active so far from the sun. CO2 turns from solid to gas at much lower temperatures than water ice. Its unusual composition suggests it may have formed near the carbon dioxide ice line in its home system, or that its surface was altered over immense timescales by cosmic radiation. 
Some models even suggest it could be extremely old, perhaps originating in the thick disk of the Milky Way, making it older than our solar system itself. If that is true, it could be carrying frozen material from the early galaxy, preserved for billions of years. While such age estimates are uncertain, they highlight the unique scientific value of these objects. There has even been speculation about artificial origins, echoing the debates that surrounded Oumuamua. Could it be a probe or fragment from an alien civilization? Most researchers think not, pointing out that its properties fit within the natural diversity we expect from different star systems. Still, the mystery fuels public fascination. The possibility of studying such an object up close has inspired mission concepts. At the Southwest Research Institute, Dr. Alan Stern, principal investigator of NASA's New Horizons mission, has led a team designing the Interstellar Comet Explorer, or ICE. The idea is to launch a spacecraft capable of a high-speed flyby of an interstellar object, gathering data on its surface, structure, and gases. Because these objects move so fast, orbiting them is impossible, but a well-timed encounter could still reveal unprecedented details. The ICE study shows that such a mission is possible with today's technology, using proven rockets and instruments. It could deliver the first direct measurements of material from another star, all without leaving our solar system. The study of 3I Atlas has broader implications for planetary science. By comparing its chemistry to that of local comets, researchers can test whether water-rich comets like ours are common or whether carbon dioxide-dominated objects are widespread in the galaxy. The answer could reshape theories about how planets acquire water and organic compounds. A spacecraft encounter would take this further, allowing instruments to analyze gases, measure dust grains, and capture detailed images of the nucleus. This data could reveal whether the comet is a solid block of ice and rock or a loose pile of rubble, and whether it carries organic molecules that could seed life. This would expand our understanding of how life's building blocks are distributed in interstellar space. Preparing for such missions requires new strategies. Interstellar objects are usually only discovered shortly before they pass by, leaving little time for mission planning. This is why projects like the European Space Agency's Comet Interceptor are designed to wait in space, ready to be redirected to a target as soon as one is found. The ICE concept follows the same principle, readiness to launch quickly when the next interstellar visitor appears. For 3I Atlas itself, there are still opportunities. While its perihelion in late October will place it behind the Sun from Earth's perspective, spacecraft around Mars may be able to observe it as it passes nearby. Later in March 2026, NASA's Juno spacecraft could attempt to capture data as the comet approaches Jupiter. These chances are rare, and each observation adds to the record before the comet disappears forever. Looking ahead, improved surveys such as the Vera Rubin Observatory are expected to dramatically increase detections of interstellar objects. Models suggest thousands may cross the outer solar system each year, with several passing close enough to be detected annually. As detection improves, the possibility of intercepting one with a dedicated spacecraft becomes more realistic. The next time a visitor like 3I Atlas appears, we may be ready not just to watch it from afar, but to meet it in the darkness between the planets. 3I Atlas is a milestone in our exploration of the universe, a comet rich in carbon dioxide, active far beyond Jupiter, and unlike anything we have ever seen before. It offers clues to the formation of other planetary systems, while mission concepts like ICE show that we could one day intercept such visitors. As it races past, astronomers are studying it from every angle, determined to learn as much as possible before it is gone. It is a reminder that our solar system is not isolated, but part of a vast and dynamic galaxy, where worlds and fragments of worlds sometimes cross paths. And perhaps, somewhere out there, another traveler is already on its way towards us. If you want to keep exploring the mysteries of space and be part of this journey, stay connected share the story, and be ready for the next time the universe sends us a visitor from the stars.